God. All right. So I've discovered uh, if you fling yourself at the conveyor belt, it will actually kind of bounce you really fucking fast. That's ridiculous. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I don't even think I heard it. Oh, shit. Fear means nothing to me, friend! <laughs> yeah, you can make my vision go all wonky and all over the place, but at the end of the day, I'm still in control of my actions. Especially in slow motion, lord. Okay. Let's see if I can blow these fuckers up. <laughs> Without worry. Whew. Okay, so where'd that piece of shit go? I want the weaver's body bits for myself. Here we go. We got one little portion of it. Thank you. <sighs> so now, finally, 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 we can move forward. What the fuck is that? We're gonna keep on moving forward for our story purposes, but um, uh, there's floating like, chunks here. This is Chief Engineer Ilyushin. Oh. The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Oh, can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here, too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam, he's right. These things... Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact, all right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can lock myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. Oh. We just got a huge set of conversation here. I still don't know what the f is this. Uh, they're like web feet tentacles? Ew? Or maybe they're more like eels, dude. I've caught sight of something. Oh, these are actual eels! Oh! That's what's going on here! God, that had me really weirded out. I thought these were typhons. But somebody just broke the eels. Oh, poor things. At least I got eel scraps from them. Eel scraps give you size, so that's actually pretty good for us. Alright, while we're here, just gonna... Oh, I'm gonna toss it that away, just in case there's assisted I can't see. Okay, so we know there's quite a few people alive, including Mika, who I think is implied to have been in a relationship with us. Not anymore! We are on rough terms with her, but I'm sure she would be happy to hear that we're alive and completely unknowing of her. Anyways, <laughs> maybe not that last bit, but uh, we're alive and we're trying to do something about this station. She's not gonna be so happy that we might kind of, I don't know. We did just already like let some people out. I was about to say, oh, well, we're gonna kill everybody because the Typhon can't be allowed to escape, but we released a, a captive volunteer. And we already released an escape pod entirely. I feel like these fucking things are gonna come back. What kind of eels are these? They like glow green even after their deaths. Ugh. There might be a mimic in this room, we gotta be cautious. We're being lured in by eel scraps and then suddenly we get pounced. At least so far people can't be, uh, or the mimics can't be people. Now that would be fucked up. 
All right. Uh, in this edition of Transstar's Li or Transstar Life's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Nirmod sales team who's currently stationed aboard Talos. I think we, yeah, we already read that one. I wish there was like a big icon that showed you. You could go up. I've already seen that. Uh, is there anything back here? <laughs> they have boxes stacked up, but I have I have leverage three. Just give me the opportunity to reveal something just hiding underneath the boxes. I'll take it. All right. We're finally getting past this place. We spent like four hours going into the guts, out of the guts, into the guts, and everything. Okay. The Arboratorium, the Arbor, Arbor, Arboratum, Arboratum, God, I fucked it up already, is a testament to both the technological and financial wealth of the Transtar Corporation, providing an Earth like relaxation and environment for the crew of Talos One. Neat. So, that means we're going to see tree things, or is it going to be a looking glass kind of thing, right? Like our apartment was a whole looking glass experiment. But will we have trees? Oh, we got actual foliage! You made it. Nice work. The entrance to deep storage is off the Arboretum. Your brother's office Arboretum. is up here as well. Jupiter and his palace at the top of the heavens. You used to say that mind is back. But that would make you... What? Neptune. Pluto. Ah. Fuck! Piece of shit, Mimic! <laughs> okay. I, uh, we were in the middle of being talked to by January, so I figured, yeah, we're probably safe for this particular area. I was wrong. But okay. Apparently, uh, Alex has his office here. We're gonna see what that's about. Disgruntled employee. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna make some pistol ammo here. So I have 60 shots on standby. And maybe we'll luck out, yes, and find some shotgun ammo in general. We... We need... We need weaponry to take on the enemies. What about Neuromods? We only have one. Yeah, it's gonna be a while until we get back up to... Feeling comfortable with things. Can I break into this? What? The fuck was that? Um. Hum? Um. Okay, so. I just hit the fan and we got screamed at. I don't know if that's like a Easter egg or if there's a typhon here that's gonna scream at us. Uh, come on, please. Don't hit us with the Morgan, jump scare. Are you all right? That type in. There's nothing in the research. Stay away from it. Stay away from what? I didn't see a typhon. I didn't see anything. You just played spooky music and I didn't see shit. Oh. Oh no. I'm even more screwed now. <laughs> There's nothing on the research about it. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. We'll just uh as we go around. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Yeah, sure, I can do that. An objective clue has been added. Detour. Enter deep storage arboretum. And then investigate the lift. Whatever is preventing the elevator from working seems to be in the arboretum. Elevator foyer. Well, that'd be nice. So, if we jump up here... Whoa! Holy shit! We get this whole... ...lobby area... ...to look at. Nice! I mean, not really lobby, but it's a massive... Earth-like courtyard with a shot of Earth and the moon. 
I would totally love actually spending time in a place like this. You know, once you're not worrying about, like, dying. Oh, we got a lot to explore here. All right. We have a lot of people up here. Holy shit. Evelyn, we need the ammo from this. We're gonna repair the turrets. And fortify them as well. Just so that way I have some extra defense in case something is, like, sneaking up on me. I don't know what's in here. But at some point it's gonna reveal itself and that's gonna be unfortunate for us. Just like how unfortunate it is that we're probably gonna fail this. Fuck! We just got on it. Alright. Okay, down. Right, damn it. I tried to be coordinated, but I am uncoordinated! Imagine walking through doors like this. I mean, I'm not really... I've never been, like, a super klutz... ...when, you know, when, when I'm aware of what's going on around me. I mean, I guess that's the general point. But, yeah, no, typically, I'm not ramming into everything along the way. That would suck. That'd be really annoying. But with this shit... <laughs> I get to experience what that's like. Just like, boom, ow, boom, ow, boom, up, god, jump, come through, ow, fuck, messed up the door. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. We got a couple turrets. Maybe the, if we find more, we'll repair them as well. I haven't seen any enemies yet, and that has me really... Suspicious. We have a lot of dead bodies here for absolutely zero enemies. What's that sound? Ah! Hey! Hey, over here! Open this door! Please! Oh. I, uh. I can't. Uh-oh. There's a telepath in there. Oh, shit. We need to research the telepath so we can mindjack people. Psychoshock 3 available! I need mindjack. Do I have access to it? Mindjack is down here. Oh, I need to get Psychoshock and then mindjack. <sighs> Homo sapiens, mind controlled. Oh, this is a good opportunity to get that. More specimens required. Mind controlled human. Incident summary. I was on duty at about 14-20 hours when I received a request from Dr. Hans Kelstrup for assistance in live exam. Upon arriving on the scene, I witnessed Dr. Trevor Young slamming lab instruments into some of the Typhon enclosure. When it became clear that he intended to break containment, I was forced to discharge my stun gun to subdue him. During my subsequent interview with Dr. Young, he seemed immensely distraught and unaware of my presence unless I came too close, whereupon he would turn violent. He has been turned over to the trauma team and placed in quarantine for his and others' safety. Huh. Well, if I scan enough of these humans, I'll get the, uh, the mind jack power as well. Well, I'll get the ability to research it. I, I'm not opening this door, and I'm not going into this room until I have Mind Jack. Because I'm not gonna kill any humans. Not gonna kill any mind controlled humans. Transformed humans? Fine. Or, uh, or like transformed phantoms and shit like that. Totally alright with killing them. We haven't seen anything redeemable. But these guys? They were just talking to us for a second ago. So we gotta watch out for that. I also don't know what the hell we're gonna do. And once we get inside there. We obviously have to kill the technopath. Or not technopath, we have to take the we have to telepath. There we go. Will that release control of them immediately? I don't wanna 
stun them because I feel like if you stun them, you don't get a huge benefit from it. Like, you know, besides the fact that they won't be trying to kill you. But what if we free them and then they can talk to us? That'd be cool. Although we'll see. For all I know, freeing their minds... We'll just knock them out anyways. I hear a mimic. Or at least I hear a sound similar to a mimic coming from this room. You hear that shit? Yep, there you go! <laughs> nice try, little mimic. But I knew you were in here before I even spotted you. <laughs> Not getting jump scared this particular time. Next time, though. Next time. You have a chance. What do we got here? Julian, stopped by, but you were out. FYI, reviewed your lab notes. Plants pose no health risk. You should be GTG and Arbor Arboretum. Hans. Hmm. Good afternoon, Paolo. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. Please refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu. I should probably get food, too. I, I, uh, it's a new day. I haven't had breakfast yet, but I've been playing for the last three and a half hours. Formula testing approved. What's going on here? Entry 165. It's managed to reduce the growth time to around 10 minutes per fruit. It's remarkable to see them sprout from practically nothing and grow to an edible size and ripeness before my very eyes. More importantly, I finally obtained clearance for wider range testing of the growth formula from Dr. Kelstrup. All that's left is actually fabricating it and then inserting it in the sprinkler system. I'm keeping the fabricator, uh, fabrication plan on my person, as I have no doubt others would love to claim credit for it. Ooh. Alright. So... What is that? Gardening tips. Find Dr. Julian Howard. I should use a security station to, to search for Dr. Julian Howard to learn more about the growth formula he wanted to begin testing in the Arbor Arborium sprinkler system. He seemed excited. Well... I suppose if I get it, it'll give me either a bunch of free food... ...or something. Let's check around here. Our first enemy down here was a mimic. Oh, this is where we came out of. Whoops, didn't realize that. I don't even know where the security things are in this place. Uh-oh. That's not good for us. Disruptor up! Mother fucking piece of shit. Disruptor battery plan. We can make ammo for my disruptor. Yay. However, we got turrets covering that area. Shit. Okay. I want to go in there. And I want to... I want to get the turrets on my side. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to run in there, pass them, and hope for the best. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Alien threat detected. Ah. <gasps> okay, good enough. <laughs> I lost half my health running past these turrets, and I'm probably going to lose more because of this hacking. But we'll be fine. I really hate not knowing what buttons are going to be used for this. Uh, F. <laughs> it's obviously a very. It's Z, X, C, and F. But that's really weird to consider mentally. No, it's the same exact one, bastards. I have to, like, line myself up in super advance, so I don't bump around everywhere. But we're good! Turrets on our side! Are these fish real? No, of course not. Hmm. Maybe this would have been a nice sideway over there.
Okay. Maybe there's something back here stopping the lift. I don't know what, but holy shit. Oh shit, we got an etheric phantom. All right. Hey, buddy! Ow! Oh my god! My health was destroyed by him? That is ridiculous. Sometimes I'm really disappointed by, uh... Sometimes I'm really disappointed when I try to attack an enemy with my sneak attack, and it just doesn't do shit. 20 damage with my sneak attack? Ugh. I need to get closer there. Alright, what am I even looking for inside of this area? Ooh. Pistol critical. Increase the critical chance rate when firing pistols. That sounds awesome. Okay. It also has plus two, so I missed the, uh, whoops, that was a fucking accident. That's a bad, big one. Uh, I missed plus one for some reason. So we're just skipping forward. Or, you know, or I missed it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Free health. I'm always skeptical to use my... Oh, it was right to the side. Wow. Hello. Nice to see you. I'm super skeptical about there. using medkits when I know that medical Losing operators exist. Operations, fatigue, nothing life-threatening. Try to relax. There. All better. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Oh, hello. We did not grab the items from the Phantom. I thought we did. So what's going on here? If this is the main lift area... Oh, it's not. The lift area would be here. What the fuck is blocking it off, then? Ah. Ah, no, it's just sparking. <laughs> it's trying to tell me to go to... To the lift. I guess it's a separate area. Okay. I figured that... Let's see, we're entering Talos 1 Lobby. And I guess the lift is just a part of that entire environment. I just figured we would go in, fix the lift, on the outside. But we're going inside the area. Okay. Whoa, shit! That Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics. This one seems more powerful. This can here will tell you more. It's a technical bath! Oh shit! I'll be honest, I thought it was a uh, it was something else. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need an EMP recharge because holy shit. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I realized I could hack into these guys and get them on my side for a little bit. But then he got right back up right as I was going to try to take over. We're living a dangerous life. Going to have to use some of my med kits at some point. Hey, it's a medical operator. Will he be able to help me? He's already corrupted, so that means that changes kind of like the entire dynamic of what he can do. Oh, fuck. But maybe he can help me out. Alright, we need to heal. Even 
the software running the system all the way down to the machine. Cell diagnostic. Reprogramming it on the fly. List. Fascinating. And alarming. Shut the fuck up over here. Fine. Hang the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos 1. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Neats. I do not know why he sounds so fucking quiet when he's talking directly in my ear. That's uh, some bad sound balancing. Alright, yeah. These guys don't do anything to help us when they're corrupted. I guess I don't want them prodding me with their corrupted sticks anyways. Oh, hey! Hendrick DeVries! Shoot. If this is all the the lobby, I might as well fucking go into it. Encrypted audio noise. <laughs> Do no harm. Oh shit. What the fuck? There's a weaver right outside. This is like the worst place to enter this place. Okay, Backlash 3! How long does Backlash last again? 20 seconds and protects you against the next attack? That would be swell. I need some robots. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I just wanted to come down here and and finish off some some exploration that we started before but didn't complete and suddenly fucking weavers and shit all around this place it's probably another mimic directly above us at least the trauma center should have a medical operator just chilling out oh they broke him you System bastards alert. repair is needed what did he ever do to you Huh? He's such a nice guy. And you fucked it up. Well, you know what? There's, uh... We'll use that guy's spare parts. Thank you. To fix this medical operator. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit couldn't handle. Please, huh. hold still. This will only take a moment. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Okay. So we have DeVry's key. We don't have to do anything super special. I was tempted to try just going through here as a mimic. Or anything else, but this works out a little bit better. <laughs> Okay. So what do you have here? We have a decryption key, transfer file, and that should give me the rest of the transcribe. Uh-oh. Listen to the decrypted transcribe message. How do I do that? It's not L. Okay. It means I have to go to data, audio logs. Here we go, Morgan's breakdown. Alex, damn it. Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back, you'll have to get it yourself. A, C, B, A, C. Good luck. A, C? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> they have a record of my my last breakdown! And the things that I was saying! We can find out more about myself, this is perfect! 
I just have to figure out his fucking message. Okay. Morgan Psychovals. Hendrick, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the Psychovals immediately. Of special importance are Morgan's log sessions. I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an encrypted transcribe. I've sent you the decryption key. You should be able to download it from your workstation. All right, Hendrick, Trevor Young is one of our scientists. He was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation and psychotronics and had his most recent neuromods removed as a precaution. But we like to keep him under more standard quarantine until he can be or until we can be certain there are no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this. Trevor Young. Have we already dealt with him? Or was he the guy that's over here? Uh, over here. Where did he go? <laughs> um, he's gone. And I don't know why. That's got me creeped out. Huh. Okay, anyway, so... 7324, I think, is the, the code for the safe in his office. Seven, three, two, four. Ooh, three neuromods. Fantastic. I hope the guy didn't disappear because I stunned him. That would... Uh, that probably screws me over out of things. I mean, at least I didn't kill him. So that shouldn't count for a kill if I look at my status, right? Oh, uh, my data... stats. Humans, 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 humans? Mind-controlled humans? <laughs> Starbender books read for... Anything about humans? Poltergeist. Oh, I guess that's the name of one of the fucking things we shot and killed. Ha 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 that's scared. Okay, well, unfortunately for us, I don't see anything about humans besides humans' abilities. Which might be a positive thing to take, right? We don't have a single stat saying, human killed. I was just hoping we could, like, talk to the guy once we get the mind jack ability, but that's so fucking far away, you know? In comparison to getting hacked too and knocking him out with my gun? There's a bit of a difference there. Uh, have my people been coming to you? Hey, Matt, had another one of my people present a signed note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints? Or is it my imagination? Oh, so, uh, Sylvain Billamy. Oh, shit, we never got his body from... Psychotronics. Oh, fuck. Quarantine subject. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potential, uh, potentially contagious subject in there who's suffering from memory loss. At this time, only Dr. Cole and I should have access. Please set the new code to 6759. Oops. I could have just found the code from here. Uh, Matthias, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is that the Typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road, we can find a way to reverse engineer this, get them to empathize with us. <laughs> yeah, right? Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. Yeah, my thanks. Mr. Young is fucking gone! Oh no! Psychological risk studies show that there's a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions. Oh uh, no, we already read that one. Alright. Is Morgan's thing on here? No, that's a behavior test. Files. What am I looking for in here? Hold on. We're trying to get my, my my files, but I don't know where where it's at. Do no harm. Search Dr. Cole's office, Talus 1 Lobby. A C B A C? Hmm. A C B A C. There's something letter related here. A C B A C. Does he have like a hidden computer? Because we don't see anything on his his main computer over here. So it's gotta be something else. Like, you go over here and you're like, hey! So fucking goddamn lamp! <laughs> Trying to spook me! Wait, there might be something around here? No? 
Hmm. Oh, you know what? I get it. I get it. It's the behavior test in here. Okay. So, A... C... B... A... C. Okay. Oh, that revealed a thing! Neat! You seem... frustrated. I have... months that are just... gone. I, I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Well, I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no, that's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know, I, I, I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this, all right? That Morgan is not me, I would never... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill! I want this station shut down! I want Earth- Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, Morgan didn't appreciate all the tests that were being done. It also really fractured his mind. I do wonder about that. Is it purely... Uh, is it purely because of the fact that, you know, our, we're losing our memories and so we're kind of coming into this with a different perspective than before? Or are we just so, like subconsciously terrified of everything that he didn't want everything to continue anyways. I fucking don't know. Here. You cover the door. Deploying. Poor Morgan, though. <laughs> I, I can sympathize with that. Like, yeah. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. Yeah. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. That one actually had subtitles. I don't want to go to the muster station. Anyways, yeah. I can see that, like... Morgan Yu coming in from, like, a fresh perspective would probably consider the other Morgan just as a completely different person. Because that's what it kind of comes down to when you think about it. He is a different person. It's kind of like the thought of dealing with a clone. The moment that you have, like, an exact clone, even to the same point of having their memories, as soon as you have, like, different perspectives, you might as well be different people with, like, the same genetic foundation and the same kind of conscious foundation. But you're different people, and this Morgan doesn't approve of all the shit that's going on here, and I don't fucking approve of all the shit that's going on here. I approve of, like, 60% of it, but <laughs> past that 60%, shit's getting really sketchy, and that's not good for us. Um... I have a lot of items just sitting here. I... Probably should try using the Q-beam. Even though it's gonna take up a fuck ton of my slots, and I don't like that. But for everything else... I don't know if I should recycle it? Or what? Because you have, like, look at this, 50 spare parts just chilling out in my inventory here. And I guess I should take them now that I'm actually starting to, like, reinforce turrets and stuff like that, but it takes up, it takes up inventory. And that frustrates me. A security like, station in the lobby might have weapons. I guess. I should go back down there. We can try hacking uh, the safe that I left behind there anyways. Um... 
let's upgrade a little bit. We have 10 upgrade things and we haven't been using them because, well, we don't have the gunsmith perk for it. That's okay, we can do other things. Go for reload speed, so in the middle of combat, better things will happen. Recoil would be nice to get rid of a little bit. We can be a little tiny bit more accurate, although I, I, I honestly don't really, I don't think I'll notice it that much. But hey, we're at a 50% recoil reduction. Oh my, oh my god, 10%? That's pretty insane. Uh, reload speed. I don't know about my pistol. I can improve my magazine capacity, but... That one's kind of sketch for me, but we'll do it anyways. I have so many upgrade kits, I just haven't been using them. All right, now I can have 20 bullets in my silenced pistol, which is pretty insane. I'm sad that I can't increase the firepower of my pistol anymore, because it's a pretty fucking powerful weapon already with the amount of uh, bullet spam I can do with it. But it'd be awesome if I could make if I could take it further. Like the shotgun can go five upgrades higher. Pistol two. That's that makes me sad. Because usually in games with a shit ton of weapon choices, the pistols end up being, like, the weakest weapon. And they could have avoided some of that. Uh, we got a greater mimic just chilling out there. We have a ton of enemies just chilling out here. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I was going to say, I'm gonna bring my turret downstairs so we can deal with this situation. Actually, we can take the one from the trauma center. 